just seen a dog down there and he looks like he's bloody dying. Just a stray dog, I think. Oh, is that the owners, maybe? Is it your dog? No. I've got some water in the car. In the... In the car. In the... On the back of the bike, even. In the car. Give the dog a bit of water. There you go. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Yeah, look at that. Do you want to... <laughs> Some water here, look. No. <laughs> oh. Sorry, mate, I thought it was just running around the streets. Hey, what you buddy doing? Hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alright. What you got? Oh nice, 1958 BSA. Wow. Oh. Okay, alright. Yeah, yeah. You look like you'd come on the back. Well, sort of a good deed. But the dog weren't in no trouble anyway. Good evening ladies and gents. Welcome back to the channel. This is Bailatron and we're going to be doing a little gear review tonight. It's 7 o'clock so we've got a few hours of daylight left. I just want to run through the gear that I take to room with me when we go camping. There's some things I do like, and there's some things I don't like. There's things I want to change, and there's things I want to keep. We could try this one. Be careful around here, though. People think you're dogging. <laughs> so, whoop, bloody hell. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Some serious bumps as well. Jesus Christ. I need a GS for this stuff. Now that's one you do not want to hit. Check not getting trouble going on here. Soon find out. Well, I can definitely think of worse locations than this. I probably shouldn't be parked there, but never mind. We shall do a little review here. Well, let's start with the bike. It's an MT-09 Tracer, as you all know. It's 2017. It's actually an 850cc engine. And it goes all right. It ain't too bad. I was looking for more of a touring bike because I had a Triumph Speed Triple before that. But I still wanted a little bit of power and have a little bit of fun still. Now, don't get me wrong, I'd love a GS, everything like that, but they're really heavy. I'm only 5 foot 8. I might get one in the future, but for now, we'll stick to the smaller bikes. It handles pretty well. When it's fully loaded, I have bottomed it out twice. But it is what it is. We've got the full givies, the whole lot which I've done a video on before and I've done a video on the tent first things first is this uh, little chair that I brought it was on Amazon I'll put a link in the description for all this stuff down below it ain't too bad really it's quite compact really light I don't know how heavy it is but got all these little rings on there which is pointless really but they're there so you'll be able to attach stuff to it if you want it i open this up you've all seen them the really lightweight camping chairs. Just all pops into place nice and easy. Probably smack yourself in the head a few times, but never mind. The seat cover goes on it. It's got a little pocket on it as well, which is a bit handy, especially if you want to put your beer there, you know what I mean? But I've got a table for that. Put your wallet in there or something. And that's your chair done. When I first sat on it, I thought, ooh, this ain't gonna hold my weight. <sighs> but it's sound, it's perfect. Now I did buy this, but I brought another chair from Aldi and I brought it for that. <laughs> it was 15 quid, so I brought this. It's the footprint because I was sinking on the last video, if you remember. So I've brought this. I don't even know if it fits yet, so we're gonna try. Well, I suppose it'll help, won't it? And that's the camping chair. Now, this is the uh, table. Uh, there's better ones than this. This is a cheap one. So this is something I do want to upgrade. You get the ones with like a uh, fold a lot smaller than this. Still good though, it's not too heavy. And um, we'll get it set up and I'll show you what this one's about. But I will be replacing this one. I mean, it's easy to put up, 
there's nothing wrong with it but I just think we can downsize a little bit you know and it just folds out like this and these clip over into them and then the other bit just like a, a blind basically and it goes on across this way and clips in I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all it works it does its job I just think we could downsize it a little bit and that's the little table so we've got the chair the table I think it's time to make a coffee don't you we'll make a coffee and then we'll carry on with a few more bits right then the Trangia you've already seen so it's pointless me opening all that and well, I'm not gonna do a review on this because there's already a review on it but I'm gonna make a coffee so I'll be using the pan out of it. I've got to pack all this back up, you know, and go back home. <laughs> Always put a rag inside your uh, trangia. Stops things knacking around and rattling too much. All we need today is a kettle. There we go. Just a kettle. And inside the kettle, I did, it was on the last video, it's pointless me saying, but I'll keep my, uh, the cooker itself to the trangia in here, in a bag so it doesn't contaminate everything. Obviously my, uh, Trusty metal cup, the man, the myth, the legend, Lee Cup. I'm sure there'll be some comments on that. <laughs> and for quick time, you know, when uh, if you want to pull up the side of the road, I'll just use the gas. And I've got my little gas burner. What have we got in here? Better be a lighter. Two lighters. You never know. Probably lose one. In this little beast, you've seen it in the last video. Proper coffee. You've got to get one of these. It just pops open eventually. There we go. Goes into your cup with your uh, little paper filters. You get proper coffee, not crap. I have got a, a little bottle as well I use for the milk and stuff, but I'm not stopping out. That's why I've brought it like this. It's a lot easier. There we go. Could do with a windshield, really, because. Yeah, just a windshield. Well, that's boiling. I'll show you the top pan here. And we'll come back to this in a minute. Ah. Now then, inside the top pan here, I've decided to keep it a lot lighter in here because like I said, with the, the balance when you're riding down the road, it's a bit uh, it's a bit iffy. You know what I mean? When you, when you go out on the road yourselves. So in this one, I'll, all I'll be keeping is like my clothes, shoes, and maybe food. That's practically what I'm trying to do. Keep the lightest stuff possible in here and stuff I'm going to take out first. Baby wipes, very important. Snood, you've got to have a snood. And a spare snood. That's my milk bottle. Oh, I also keep that uh, gas cooker in the top of here as well. First aid kit, very important. Make sure you got one. Sponges. Clear visor. I always carry a clear visor because if it goes dark, you will need it. And that's just my uh, clothes bag which obviously I've got nothing in it because I'm not camping but I'll just put all my clothes in there and my shoes at the bottom in a carrier bag or something what else we got in here? that's it for the top box I mean all the rest of the stuff goes in the uh, panniers now the other things I have in this side I've already shown you that very important this light I got from Go Outdoors it's actually really good it's not going to look very bright out here but it actually is really bright to be fair and I put it in the top of the tent. But yeah, small, compact, and um, it's okay. I'm sure this one you just put batteries in, I think. Yeah, just four double I batteries. That does that one. Little skillet pan. This little thing <laughs> is brilliant. I'll be using that in the next video, like I said. Inside this bag, we have toilet roll, very important. All your stuff, what you normally use. Tough paste, tough brush, shower gel, and your towel in the bottom. That's about it for the uh, laundry stuff. And that's about it for this side of the pannier. I was just talking to a bloke, he, he come over, he did. Nice old bloke, he says, what are you doing? You're camping over here? No, I'm not camping. You're not supposed to even be on here really, but it is what it is. He was all right there. Oh, where's my spoon? Oh no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll guess they might, shall I? We'll chuck a load of that in here. Oi. I do think there's a better way than this, you know. There's gotta be. Oh, 
love that smell, it's amazing. Sun's going down, we've probably got another about an hour, something like that. Should be plenty enough time for me to finish this video with a bit of luck. But I think I'll be riding back in the dark. That'll do. Put that in the bin in a minute. I'll put it there for now. Cheers. Ah, beautiful. Now in this pannier, obviously I've got my Trangier uh, fluid, the alcohol fluid for the burner for the Trangier. But I've seen another YouTuber and he sticks them on the outside of here. But he's got the aluminium boxes, so I'll just put it in here for now. But I might find a way of doing that. So I can keep the fuels and a lot of water and stuff tucked behind there somewhere. That'd be handy. Chopping board, we've been through this. Gotta have a chopping board. And you've got to have a, a spatula spoon, obviously for cooking with your trangia. So that I made these by the way. I think I said it in the other video. If anybody wants one, let me know. The plate, I do want to get a better one. This one is just a cheap plate, you know. Those summit ones where they're popping and out, I think that would be a good one for it. Knife, fork and spoon. With the bottle opener, very important. This is my survival knife and for cooking as well, cutting meat and things. But it's a good little knife, it's sharp. And I bring it because it's got the old flint on the bottom. And then just... Obviously if I need to start a fire, happy days. WD-40 is a must. You never know when you're gonna need it. <clears throat> Jump starter from Helfords. I like to carry this. Just in case, you know, if anybody else needs a, a jump start, I can help them out. And if I get stuck in the middle of nowhere and the battery's dead, you need that really, don't you? The little travel towel, this is good, but I haven't used it yet. I, no, sorry, I used it to wipe the tent, because I've got my other towel. But it's a spare towel anyway. This is the sleeping bag, Super Snooze 250. <laughs> it's a Euro hike. Uh, it says 1kg feels lighter than that to me but it's all right i think it's only a two season now this one two to three seasons i want to get a smaller one a compact one now the sleeping mattress which i'll show you now i absolutely hate it hate this thing it's a high peak performance companion and it's one of those hand push ones where you pump it up with your foot or your hand or anything like that i'm not a massive fan of this me personally i'd rather get a little pump and one where you can blow it with a pump and then do it that way because that is a pain in the butt that thing is and that's about it for this pannier that's what i have in this one anyway so all the weights slow down now up front on the bike obviously you've got my tank bag and this is where all my cameras wallet all the essential stuff valuables and things like that all go in the front i think we all do that but i've got a specific bag for all my camera gear and things like that and a charging point wallet obviously you need that memory cards can't get enough of them and this is brilliant. Not just for the batteries, but it's like charging your phone or anything like that. But this one is a power bank and it is 30,000 mAh. Milliamp power is it or something like that? So yeah, I mean it lasts for ages. I charge loads of stuff on this and it, it, it does, it lasts for ages. Brilliant little bit of kit. I'll see if I can find the link, I'll put that in the description as well. And just wallet, camera stuff in there. Never use that top pocket for nothing. Charging this size, like cables and normal plug with USB if you need it. And I'll plug it into the bike anyway if, uh, if I'm charging my phone and stuff. So I've got constant power. And this one I've got, you gotta take one of these, ain't you? Unless you've got one of them foot things on your stand. And the visor wipes. A little can of visor wipes and a little uh, microfiber towel. That's it. That's a lot for at the top of there. Now this tent, the Nature Hike Monger 2, I've done a review on it, there is a video on it and it's on my channel if you want to go and see that as well. It's a good tent, but it, I don't think it's for me. It's too small. I'll, I need a bit more room than that really. I have to clamber into it, you know. It's like, if you're really short, then yeah, it'd be fine. You know, it'd be great or skinny. <laughs> but me being quite chubby, I'm not the tallest bloke in the world, I'm only 5'8", and I'll struggle to get in there, you know what I mean? So I could do with a bigger tent. I was looking at those, um, the Land Rider tents. I might be looking at those, and there's a few others I'm eyeing up. 
so there'll be a video coming up on that soon as well and i think i've covered everything the tarp is on the list that's the next buy that is and i'm just going to keep progressing and see what other bits i want or need or what i don't need and then go from there well then guys i think i've covered everything in my kit i think if i haven't or if there's something i've missed or i haven't mentioned properly or talked about properly let me know in the comments and i'll tell you more about it that way but yeah that's about it i think <laughs> until next time this has been bailatron and i'll speak to you all very soon ah don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and that's about it see you later Ta-ra.